and welcome to this edition of ACAP Today for the week of February 15th, 2021. I'm Jason Parent with the Aroostook County Action Program. On this week's program, we're going to talk with representatives from the Aroostook Cash Coalition about the upcoming season. Actually, it's already started, this, the tax season, uh, and the work that they're doing to help uh, low-income individuals uh, and others in Aroostook County access the tax returns and tax preparation services. And we're gonna to get to that and other services that they're providing in just a minute. But before we do that, we're going to visit the news and information that you can use again for this week, the week of February 15th, 2020. And we begin um, by sharing with you in the news this week as we uh, kick it off, that uh, in addition to notifying you that our offices are closed to the public, we do wanna share with you that this week we will beginning, be beginning a construction a building modification project at our 771 Main Street building. So our front door will be inaccessible to the public. A part of the building modification will include work in the lobby. We will have uh, signs by the front door directing you to a window in the front area where we'll be able to do window service for you. Um, and if you, for any reason, need to get into the building, we'll be directed through the back entrance. However, we are offering all of our services for the most part remotely and encourage you to connect with us online or by calling us at 764-3721. Or if you visit our Holton facility, there's a banner like the one seen here in the picture on the building there with the telephone number to call. The telephone number on the building in Prescott Isle will still be active as well if you prefer to call us from your car to get further direction uh, because perhaps we might have you drive out back if you would like uh, to connect with us in person. Uh, and then in our Fort Kent office, uh, certainly there's a video doorbell there uh, to access individuals inside the building that can help you uh, with services in the St. John Valley. Our COVID-19 emergency rental assistance update. Wish I'd have some definitive news for you, but we are working with Maine Housing, who's working with the U.S. Department of Treasury to provide us with the final guidance on this program. Uh, we are hearing that it could start up as early as February 22nd. If not, it will certainly start up in March. Uh, as soon as we have that information for you, we will uh, get it to you in terms of the start date. Um, and we are looking to staff up in this area so that we can deal with uh, the number of uh, individuals we are certain will be looking for uh, assistance through the rental assistance program. And for those of you who are behind, the rental assistance program will help you with arrearages as well. So please, uh, if you are having conversations with your landlord, continue to do so and let them know if your household has been impacted economically by COVID-19, uh, that this program is coming out soon um, and that you hope to apply for it. So uh, please, again, we. We appreciate your patience and understanding as we work through this process. The special enrollment period for individuals looking for marketplace uh, health insurance coverage uh, is beginning this week um, and will run uh, through the 15th of May. If your household has been impacted or if you are looking at health care options and are in need of health insurance, we certainly encourage you to give our marketplace navigator uh, Stan Targonski a call. His phone number and email information is right there on your screen and he would be happy to work with you on the website. They can work remotely with you. Um, but they can also help advise you, including uh, helping to determine if you might be eligible for main care and uh, beginning the application process for that, if that indeed appears to be the case. But many folks who do apply for um, health insurance through the marketplace do find that it is much more affordable than they thought it would have been. So we encourage you to check with Stan in the next couple of months um, on your options there. We are also offering, or in partnership with others, offering a virtual youth training. It's a free online opportunity that's going to help prevention efforts here in Aroostook County. Uh, there's an incentive for youth who participate, a $15 Grubhub or a vanilla card where Grubhub isn't an option. Uh, participants will be invited to join local efforts providing education and advocacy through, through drug-free Aroostook. Uh, it's a wonderful opportunity and it will be uh, featuring uh, NASA astronaut Captain Christopher Cassidy, who is a Maine native. Um, and he will be the guest speaker who pro and they'll provide lunch uh, through that Grubhub gift certificate. Uh, they've also lined up a DJ to provide them with some great music. So it's going to be a rocking online party for you. Um, there are tra various training topics seen there on your screen. This is happening on the 17th and 18th of February. So Wednesday and Thursday of this week, please contact Meg Hegman at mhegman at acap-me.org uh, to get registered for this. And this is school vacation week. So youth, you do have the availability of this coming week. 
Contractors are needed. We are looking for contractors to work in both our weatherization, but especially our home repair program. We're getting ready to gear up another year of home repair work uh, across the Roostick County, and we are very much looking for contractors. We'll actually be speaking with uh, Shannon from our home uh, home ownership program in the coming week uh, on ACAP today to talk about this um, and to hopefully connect with more Roostick County contractors uh, to help their neighbors in need. Uh, Shannon Hill will be our guest again next week to talk more about about this. February is National Children's Dental Health Month and ACAP has an oral health program. We encourage you to connect with us. We have an oral health educator who would be happy to speak with you, even uh, connect with you virtually, uh, connect with your family, or even if you're a teacher, your classroom, uh, please give us a call. Uh, she has some great tips for oral health and again is willing to connect with you as is our dental hygienist, Lucy Morin, who works in schools across Aroostook County. The Presque Isle area will be hosting uh, community blood drives um, in both February and April, and we here at ACAP and our um, Employee Engagement Committee are encouraging folks to register uh, to give blood uh, and to donate blood. Uh, please contact the Red Cross directly. Information is there on your screen, and you can also go online uh, at redcross.org to find out more information. The COVID-19 vaccination process is ongoing here in Maine, and we are encouraging you to reach out to your local health care provider. The Aroostook Area Agency on Aging is also providing assistance uh, specifically for individuals years age of 70 and older right now who are looking to get vaccines. We encourage you to use your resources. There is more information at maine.gov slash COVID-19 slash vaccines uh, as well. We are helping and doing our part and are offering a free cloth face masks that are available at our Presque Isle, Holton and Fort Kent facilities. Please just come to those facilities and ring uh, the bell or call the number on the building and we will get cloth masks out to you. Uh, if you are unable to, to come to one of our offices, please give us a call at 764-3721 and we will get them out in the mail to you. But we are pleased to provide this service to our community to help keep folks safe. We are also offering um, our community closet. This actually started um, as a project in partnership with United Way and happens um, annually um, before school uh, time starts, but we've continued project through this through these winter months and we've received a good number of coats and are continuing to receive a good number of coats uh, but there's also other clothing out there as well it's right available at our 771 main street office it's available 24 7 for either drop off or pick up of clothing it's just on the premise of give what you can take what you need so please do if you are in need of a warm winter jacket or other clothing stop by um, and get uh, what you need and if you are looking to make a donation we gladly accept that you can leave it there uh, 24 7. Right next to that is our community cupboard and there are other community cupboards located across Aroostook County. If you are in need of food assistance you can also call us at 764-3721 and we'll connect you with other resources. There is a food resource guide available right inside the cupboard here um, and it, again this is give what you can um, take what you need and it's open 24 7 as are most of the community cupboards throughout Aroostook County. Uh, this month we are pleased to thank our sponsors who are several Aroostook County grocers and food providers including Aroostook Foods, Ashland Food Mart, Caribou Hannaford, Brave Supermarkets and Parity Shop and Save who have all partnered to be our sponsors for the month. Speaking of food, um, our friends at Thompson Financial Group and um, at Smith Farms are are doing a competition, a cereal drive competition. March 7th just happens to be National Cereal Day and they're uh, sort of challenging one another. If you would like to donate cereal to either one of these teams or just to our community cupboard or any of the community cupboards directly, we encourage you to do that. Um, they are working on this challenge to help uh, collect additional cereal to fill the community cupboards here at ACAP and at other locations in Aroostook County and we thank them for that. Um, if you're in need of any assistance at all um, and maybe don't know what it is that you need or don't know what assistance is available to you, we do have navig navigators who are available to connect with you. We just referred uh, someone to one today um, and this is a great resource. Please do avail yourself of it or if you are knowing of neighbors or friends in need, give us a call at 764-3721 and we'll gladly connect you with a navigator. Uh, in terms of smoking cessation, we've been talking about this and had Elaine Sipe as our guest a few weeks back. 
Uh, we do offer a smoking cessation program. We are partnering in the month of March with Cary Medical Center to offer a special uh, course, a special smoking cessation class, if you will. Uh, please do give us a call to get into that session. Uh, Elaine Sipe, her information is on the screen. However, if you'd like one-on-one -on -one sessions, those are available as well. And Elaine can help navigate you and what fits best uh, for you in terms of quitting smoking. Um, the Home Energy Assistance Program just this past week uh, hosted a special call-in day, a keep me warm kind of call-in day, uh, and we had over 42 uh, first-time uh, HEAP eligible households uh, that called in and are going through the uh, certification process now. It was a great success. We are planning another one of those on March 17th. Uh, but you do not need to wait. We have uh, openings uh, in uh, appointments later this month, uh, the last week of the month of February and into March. So if you think your household may qualify, and if you'd like to know if you would, check out the uh, income guidelines on our website. But we are trying to uh, ensure that everyone who is eligible for this program is receiving a HEAP benefit. Uh, statewide, it is estimated that only 25% of households who are actually eligible for HEAP are actually receiving it at this point. Um, that is a staggering number. Uh, the income guidelines have shifted and changed dramatically in the last couple of years. We encourage you to check it out and give us a call. You might be surprised. Um, and finally, today, I just wanted to remind folks that if you are interested in joining the ACAP team, we do have a couple of current openings there and regularly do, uh, especially in early care and education where we have programs across Aroostook County. Please do check us out online and consider joining the ACAP team. We'd be happy to have new members join our team at any time. Thank you. That's the news and information that you can use for this week. I'm now pleased to welcome to the program two great friends of ACAP and great partner organizations uh, who are working collaboratively with us and other stakeholders uh, across Aroostook County for another season of tax preparation plus, and there's more to it than just tax preparation. They're members of the Aroostook County Cash Coalition. Sarah Ennis is with the United Way of Aroostook and Suzanne Senesh Aljandro is with New Ventures Maine. Thank you both for joining me. Thank you for having me. Great. Well, Sarah, let's begin with you because I know the United Way of Aroostook sort of houses the program. And when I when we talk about housing things uh, in this COVID era, everything kind of looks different. So talk about this year's, the tax preparation part of this program anyway, and how that's operating this year. Yeah, for the past several years, people have been able to come to our office and actually sit down with a preparer uh, due to COVID. And we we're trying to make it contactless. So we're doing a scan and go um, program this year. People will make appointments to come bring all their documents to the mall, uh, right to our office. Uh, we will scan them to one of our IRS certified tax preparers that are volunteers. And within a week, they'll do your taxes. If they have questions, they will give you a call. And once they're finished, they will call you, go over your uh, taxes with you. And then you would come back into our office to sign them so that they could be e-filed. Great, so it, it really does uh, reduce the risk both to the volunteer and to the uh, individuals who, who's having their tax preparations done. So that's all happening centrally uh, at the mall? Yes, right at the United Way of Aroostook office, right at the mall. But we are also allowing people, if they have the um, access to a scanner or somebody with a scanner, they can scan their documents into getyourrefund.org or scan them and email them right to our office and we can enter them into the system for a preparer. Uh, we do have some of our friends in Fort Kent who are mailing their documents. Um, so we're trying to accommodate and everyone no matter where they live. Now, Suzanne, I know that New Ventures Maine has been a part of the Aroostook Cash Coalition since it began and really a, an integral partner in this effort. And your work it sort of takes it beyond just the tax preparation part of it, but really the financial management part that goes along with that. So talk about your role. Yeah, we've been part of the co coalition for many years. And I, and I just want to say that Aroostook Coalition is part of a statewide effort to um, provide these kinds of services. So we're one of 10 coalitions statewide in Aroostook County. And we want, CASH stands for Creating Assets, Savings and Hope. So um, we're hoping to provide those who file their taxes and get their taxes um, filed at no cost, 
that we will add some valued service to that in terms of referring them to resources in the community that, that might be helpful to them, as well as some information about um, increasing their financial capabilities. So, uh, you know, free classes um, focused around financial literacy and those kinds of things. So we want to be instilling um, some hope in the way of, you know, have you thought about saving a piece of your um, refund if you're getting a refund or even the amount of money you saved and getting your taxes done at no cost today, those kinds of things. I imagine that in the process of doing that over the past several years, Suzanne, that you and your team have found maybe some aha moments with uh, individuals who have had maybe received a tax return. First of all, probably surprised at, at what that return might might be, but also uh, what how they might spend that differently than they maybe had first envisioned. Yeah, that's true, Jason. And, and I think the other thing that's been um, noticeable to us is that we have filers coming back every year. So you may have raised something three or four years ago, and then we hear from them several years later saying, you know, that program you talked about, for example, maybe a match savings program is something that I've been thinking about since you've talked um, to me about it. And, uh, you know, that, that's been a helpful uh, process to see happen for folks. So, you know, it's not always when you're sitting down to have the conversation. Of course, this year we won't be sitting down to have the conversation. We'll be having those conversations by phone primarily uh, with the tax filers. But to, to say these are some things that you might consider um, to help you build your assets in the future. And even if you're not ready now, maybe someday you will be. So, um, you know, just planting some seeds sometimes. And I want to come back to you and talk about that match savings program because a lot of people don't know about it just at the surface. They do when you talk to them about it and you go through, through great detail in it. But I think it's important that people understand that it's there. But before we do that, Sarah, I kind of want to look at the same question for you uh, in terms of the work that your volunteers do in the tax preparation. Mm -hmm. I'm sure, number one, that people are very grateful that the service is available. But also, I think there must be some aha and wow moments on the other side of sitting down with one of your volunteer tax preparers and seeing what happens uh, and what comes from that. Yeah, I mean, our volunteers are fantastic and they really make the program. Um, and this program is for anyone with a household income, $57,000 or below. And that reaches so many people in Aroostook County. Um, we serve about a thousand people every year um, to do their free tax return. And uh, they're not just getting their taxes done. Like Suzanne said, they're getting coaching and County Federal Credit Union sponsors that part of the program and provides opportunity guides to walk people through those resources. Um, I know of one person who got the earned income tax credit and was able to, through those opportunity guides and those conversations, she decided to prepay her heating oil for a year so that she didn't have to think about that. Um, saving a certain amount in case one of her kids had a medical event. Um, just those little things that people might not think of and say, oh, I probably should save um, that rainy day fund. Great. And let's, so let's hope, first of all, that that individual applied for the Home Energy Assistance Pro Program and went through that process so we can help her in that way. Um, but let's also talk about, Suzanne, because I, I do want to come back to the uh, match savings account because they are available and there are different types of them. So let's talk about that. Yeah. Um, yes, first to, to answer your um, question, Jason, about that, we do refer people to um, the heating assistance program if, if they tell us that that's one of their, um, you know, one of their challenges. And that's, the, that's what's important to us is that we do, a pro we do an intake process that allows us to identify what people's needs are and what their biggest challenges are around their finances so that we can really target, as Sarah said, the County Federal Credit Union um, folks are helping us with that piece as well. So, and, and another thing that we do refer them to are the match savings programs that you're, um, that you're talking about, Jason. And there are different kinds of programs. Um, the New Ventures Maine offers a rainy day um, savings account program, which allows people to save $300 over a six month period of time or longer, if it takes them longer, and they'll receive a match of $300 towards unexpected expenses. So the purpose of this program is to help people establish that um, the beginning of a rainy day savings uh, process or an emergency savings account, if you will, to um, help them meet needs that could come up during the year. 
and it's to encourage regular savings habits. So it's based on their budget in terms of setting a goal that they can save on a regular basis. And as long as it takes them to get to that $300 mark, we'll match it um, when those unexpected needs come up. And then um, I know ACAP is part of the um, Family Development Account Coalition, as is New Ventures Maine. And the family development accounts are um, saving up to $1,000 for a four to one match. So if you were to save $1,000, you'd receive a match of $4,000 towards very specific goals, um, such as buying your first home, buying or repairing a car, um, emergency savings account. Um, and so those kinds of accounts are, of course, a great, uh, a great return on investment in terms of that four to one match. But as it stands right now, you do need to have um, at least one dependent child and some earned income to qualify. And there are um, eligibility requirements in terms of income for both of those programs. But they're great programs to help uh, people build assets or work towards goals that they, that they have for the future. Yeah, and certainly worth looking into if you think you might qualify. It's just like we were talking about in the new segment and we just mentioned the Home Energy Assistance Program. It's, you know, it's worth checking into it. If, if you apply, it just might help take off some of the, the stress and the challenges that, that folks are experiencing, uh, which is why those programs are there. Sarah, I know that the uh, tax preparation part of this, the season was sort of um, upended last year because the pandemic hit uh, before the, the tax season ended and last year's tax season was extended. Um, you're getting, a, there's a late start, not, not because of your efforts, but just federally a late start to the tax season this year. Have you heard, is the tax season being extended and what are you planning on running your program through at this point? I have not heard if it's going to be extended, um, but we plan to run our program right up until April 11th to give the preparers some extra, a few extra days at the end. Um, as of today, I, we've all, already entered 107 people um, into the system as new clients. And that's just from people we had come in this week. Um, so we're hoping that we can put through at least 100 people a week and be able to serve as many people as possible. Have we missed anything about the cash coalition and the work of the tax preparation work and the um, financial literacy component that you either one of you wanted to talk about? I don't think so. I mean, I just, you know, again, want to give a shout out to the volunteers because there are many, many volunteers helping with this process. And um, I know Sarah and her office and her staff have been work working really hard to um, get people into the office to have their um, documents scanned in a safe way. Um, so I think that, you know, we're, we're, this is a new process for us. So there's some learning happening um, as we move to this virtual tax preparation process and the coaching um, piece as well. But we're really excited to be able to, as Sarah said, help as many um, folks in the community as we can. And Sarah, before we go, I just wanted to touch base with both of you. Uh, aside from this great work that you're doing, you're, you both have very vibrant organizations that are doing a number of other things. I know you're heading into uh, the allocation review period season. Uh, it's submission of allocations followed by the review and, and, and awarding. And believe it or not, heading toward the end of another campaign year, which just seems kind of impossible how time is flying, even though we're in a weird COVID kind of way. Uh, give me an update on, on other things happening with United Way that you want folks to know about. Yeah, our allocations process, the applications are out and we will determine who gets funded on April 26th. And it just seems like yesterday we were doing the funding for last year. Um, the campaigns have been so wonderful. People are being uh, so generous. Some campaigns we have seen such large increases of people that really want to take care of their community members. They see um, their communities struggling right now and they want to do their part. Uh, so we're so thankful for all the donors um, that have given this year and we're excited to see what, um, how much we get to fund and um, hopefully be able to make an even bigger impact. And a big event coming up here in March at another telethon that you're working on? Yes, um, it was known as the Operation 24 Telethon. It's now been renamed to Operation Hunger. And that's because um, Catholic Charities is now serving 28 plus pantries. Uh, so we had to get rid of the 24, um, but that will be March 11th uh, on WAGM TV from 5.30 in the morning all the way till 8 p.m. And we're excited to see 
what happens that day. Dixie is always a lot of fun and <laughs> can really um, get people to call in their dollars. And I know that you're working on uh, sending out some letters to past donors and others uh, who would want to consider giving. And so we encourage folks to, to sort of uh, be there for you and uh, for Catholic Charities on the 11th of March uh, to, uh, to support the great work that's happening across Aroostook County. Uh, Suzanne, speaking of great work happening across Aroostook County, New Ventures Maine as well um, has done uh, quite well uh, transitioning to uh, your work to online platforms and connecting with people across the region. Uh, what's up and what's next for you? Yeah, we have a full schedule of um, financial lit literacy courses, everything from basic budgeting to credit and debt management and full courses as well that cover, you know, the whole spectrum of financial literacy um, education. And we also have a lot of business courses um, online available to anybody. And our services are all no fee and um, anybody in the community is eligible. There, there are no eligibility requirements. So, and we're also uh, um, offering some career and education planning classes. So um, you can just go to newventuresmain.org if you're interested in looking at the schedule. And I don't think Sarah and I made it clear as well that you can go to cashmain.org if you're interested in finding out um, about how to get in touch uh, to have your taxes filed or call United Way in Presque Isle. Perfect. Great way to end it, uh, reminding people how to get in touch uh, with the great program and the great services uh, that you're both offering at your respective organizations and collectively through the CAT Coalition's work. So thank you both uh, so much for joining me today and uh, for sharing uh, the information with the people of Aroostook County. Uh, before we let you and others go, we just want to remind you that whether it's for this or for other services, uh, do stay in touch and do connect with us. Um, again, United Way is the place to connect or uh, to the website that Suzanne just pointed out uh, for information on the tax preparation and related services. But if you have any other uh, services that you'd like to connect with, we can certainly help direct you accordingly. Reach us at 764-3721 or at info at ACAP me.org. You can also connect with us on Facebook where we're regularly providing updates. Uh, we have a YouTube channel and we're also on Twitter. Uh, check us out on all of those platforms. Uh, and lastly, as we do each week, we end with our snapshot of the week and what a wonderful uh, snapshot this is. These are some of our littles uh, that are enjoying the freshly fallen snow. Uh, these are infant and toddler room uh, participants in Holton who are enjoying the opportunity to get out and enjoy Aroostook County's winter. And I'm seeing at least three snow angels there. Um, and uh, what a cute picture and what a great way to end uh, this week's edition of ACAP today. Uh, on behalf of all of us at the Aroostook County Action Program and members of the Aroostook Cash Coalition, thank you so much for being with us. We'll see you next week on the week of February 22nd for another edition of ACAP today. Have a great week, everyone. <laughs>